Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dave. Today, I'm fixing this 68-year-old electric motor that everybody said couldn't be fixed. You're watching Parts and Restoration. Well, it's cracked. It's probably bad. Okay, this thing looks like it's solid, but it's got these joints here, and I'm like, what the hell is that? So I start pulling on it. Oh my God, it does stuff. Okay, here's what we have. This is the rotor of the motor. This motor is a repulsion and repulsion start induction run motor. So it starts out as a brushed mm -hmm. motor. There's the commutator for the brushes, and there is the main uh, rotor uh, portion for the, with the windings. Now. The part right there in the middle, that silver part, is under spring tension, and that is a short-circuiting device. Now, what that does is it switches from the repulsion start to the induction run phases of this motor, uh, or this motor's operation, I should say. So, um, on the other end of the motor, there is a centrifugal switch. It's got two weights that fly out to the outside under rotational forces. Though that that activates a rod that pushes through the middle of the motor and that pushes on some of the guts on the inside of that short circuiting device which we'll see here in just a second so there are the guts inside you can see there's a spring um, there's it with nothing in there after i pulled that out there were some jammed parts i had to use a puller to get it out and that was actually a big problem with why the motor wasn't running properly but look at that that is the those are brass fingers like the and as under centrifugal force those fly to the outside of that little uh, open cup in there and when the, when the centrifugal switch pushes on that, it pushes on that washer right there, it pushes those brass fingers into contact with the commutator and it causes a short circuit. And that changes the flow of electricity from the repulsion start to a regular standard AC induction run phase of the motor. This was replaced later by better technology with capacitor start, but this is what they were able to do in the past. 650 times the torque of its running torque with this kind of a motor. Very cool. So here's the centrifugal switch that I was talking about. Now, as this thing spins, it's weighted, so these fly apart. And when that opens up the way it is right now, it pushes on those rods. Like I said, that causes, that pushing pushes on the brass fingers that causes the short circuit, changes the phase of the motor. And I also polished all of these contacts, polished the edge of the commutator. My only problem at this point is I have broken brushes. Uh, I have like two good brushes. Fail! <laughs> Newly minted carbon brushes. Okay, that one, that one works good now. Ooh, nice. Nice fit. Okay, I like what I'm seeing. Can we go four for four? Cue dramatic music. Ladies and gentlemen, the Century Propulsion Induction, three-quarter horse, 1750 RPM antique electric motor. 
The experts said she would never run again. They said she was worth more in scrap. They said she would never turn. Time to find out if they were right. Incredible.